Hi everyone and welcome to this talk on FAIR for Research Software here at Supercomputing 21. Thank you very much to the organizers for inviting me to represent uh, many people involved in this work. My name is Michelle Barker and I'm the director of the Research Software Alliance. What is FAIR for Research Software? Uh, many of you may be familiar with the FAIR guiding principles released in 2016 which have been applied extensively to research data, but they were meant to be applied to all digital objects. So the Fair for Research Software Working Group was formed uh, to focus on the adoption and adaptation of the Fair principles to research software. Our working group undertook extensive community consultation over the last year uh, with 300 plus people across the international research software community and we now have a community endorsed version of the FAIR principles for research software. To give you just a taste of what the FAIR principles for research software look like, uh, findable relates to software and its associated metadata, which should be easy to find for both humans and machines. Software should be accessible, i.e. the software and its metadata is retrievable via standardized protocols. Software, there should be a focus on software interoperating with other software through exchanging data and or metadata uh, and or through interaction with APIs described through standards. And reusable is applied here as referring to software that is both usable and reusable. As our work has extended into looking at how to enable adoption and widespread implementation of these FAIR principles, we're often asked who is responsible for FAIR software. Uh, there's a range of stages in the adoption cycle and our work has emphasized, as written on left, that the responsibility, it's the responsibility of the owners who are often the creators of the software and not the users. Part of our work has been identifying the early adopters uh, who are already committed to implementing the FAIR for Research software principles in their own organizations. We also have a wider effort thinking about how to implement the FAIR for Research software principles, which is resulting in the development of a few different groups uh, with specific focus. Most relevant here is perhaps that there's a FAIR for Machine Learning group starting. Uh, you can look at that link in the slides uh, that includes modeling. You can still get involved in our work. Uh, you can join our email list, come to our events. And finally, I'd like to thank all the members of our working group and our steering committee members. And a huge thanks to our funders, uh, the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation and the Wellcome Trust for their support. Thank you.